In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create a MailChimp account for your website and your business. Hi, my name is Travis Flans of WebWorks of Kansas City, and we are going to create a simple MailChimp account to use with your website and your small business so you can get started with email newsletters. Now, we work with businesses of all sizes, but a lot of the very small businesses that come to us have no idea about email marketing. They don't think they want to send emails because they don't like e receiving emails, but email marketing works. And if nothing else at all, you should definitely be giving your website visitors an option to sign up to receive your newsletter, whether you're sending it right now or not. So. Follow along with the conversation using the hashtag webwork in it or follow us all across social media with at webworks of KC and make sure to subscribe below. Click on the bell to get notifications of our new videos, but let's get to it. Let's create a new MailChimp account. To get started creating a MailChimp account, just go to MailChimp.com. Uh, as, as we mentioned, you know, Every single small business and website needs to be collecting emails. Um, no matter if you're a huge Facebook fan or Twitter or LinkedIn, whatever your preferred method is, email addresses have a ton of power. And so even if you're not going to be sending email newsletters or marketing automation right away, it's very important that as soon as you launch your website, you have a way to collect those email addresses. Um, and you can integrate that straight into WordPress or straight into any other website, but you need a place to collect those emails and we're going to use MailChimp. We're not going to go over how to actually integrate it with your website at this point, but with this video, we're just going to show you how to simply create a new account. So we're at MailChimp.com and I'm just going to click sign up free. And now I'm going to use another uh, domain name that I own for this demo. And so we've entered an email address, a username, and a password, and we're just going to click Get Started. Now it's going to send us an email to the email address that we've chosen. And so let's go check that email. We see our activation email has arrived. So I'm just going to open it up, and uh, we'll scroll down and take a look. We're glad you're here. All right, so we're going to activate account. Confirm you're not a robot. And then we're just going to enter our credentials, or our name, and not our credentials, actually. Your name, and then name of your business. This is a Kansas City Dog Club, and the website. If I could spell it correctly. And then continue. Now it's going to ask you for uh, your address that's associated with your business or your website because you have to have an address to use MailChimp. So I'm just going to actually um, use my WebWorks of KC address here. And does your business sell anything online? This particular one does actually have a shop for uh, logoed merchandise, so I'm just going to click yes. Um, yes, I already have people. How many email subscribers? I think this one's pretty low. And uh, they put you, they give you a free account up to 2,000 subscribers. So uh, just always select that you don't have one or if it's 501 to 2,000 or 500 and less uh, because that way they're not going to try to sell you a paid plan right away. I'm going to skip connecting it to social media. If you want to automatically tweet out or share your new newsletters to your Facebook and Twitter, uh, you can do that, but I'm not going to do that for this case. And you can get their, uh, their e-commerce newsletter if you like. It's actually pretty decent. But for that, this purpose, I'm going to skip it. All right, here we go. I can send physical postcards. I'm not going to do that, though. Let's close it. And so now uh, we're in our account. Uh, what's great is that MailChimp has already created a list for us based on the business name that we gave when we signed up. As we can see, we have one subscriber. That's yourself. 
if you're working with an agency, you'll want to check out our next video on how to add another user to your MailChimp account. And you can probably stop right here. Your agency will likely integrate with your website, set up your email newsletters for you, depending on what you're paying them to do, of course, um, and also set up all the DNS records to verify your domain name as the sender of these newsletters. So check out the next video on how to add a user to your account, and then we will also be creating videos about other basic uses of MailChimp. So I hope that video helped you create your first MailChimp account. Pretty simple, right? So let us know in the comments below, what was it like when you first started with email newsletters, if you've already been doing it for a while, or what do you hope to get from sending email newsletters? And make sure uh, to subscribe this way, right there. Subscribe and uh, click on the bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.